Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we are playing with the cup and ball toy. We made it at home. The object of the game is to swing your little ball and get it and catch it in the cup. Ooh, it's quite windy. It's pretty challenging for little kids. We just made that made this at home, um, and I can show you, which is a few simple, a few uh, supplies that you can find at home. You can make it for yourself and have hours of fun. You ready? So let's go inside to the library. And I'll show you how to make it. So before we get into making this toy, I just wanted to share some interesting facts about it. Um, the cup and ball game is actually not a new toy. It's been around for centuries. Um, in France, the, the toy is called Bill Bouquet and it was made popular in France in the 16th century. And it's said that King, uh, King Henry III of France played the game. So it looks sort of like this. And then in Mexico, the toy is actually called Bolero. Um, it's a slightly different version, but it um, has a similar concept where you actually, there's no ball, but the ball is actually like a barrel and it's connected to another string. And then you land the barrel onto the handle. And we have a version from Japan called Kendama. And um, it's a traditional skill game made of wood. It has a handle, you see the handle here? And it has actually, it has a ball and it has three cups. So one, two, and three, and they're all different sizes. And it takes a lot of imagination and skill to really master this game. And so we will be making our own little version today. Our version is, um, will not have a handle, but you can always customize it to make it really cool. So I have a cup, I made it all crazy with different uh, colors of washi tape. Um, here's a ping pong ball, and washi tape. And string. So, um, before you like start attaching the string in the ball of the cup, if you want to customize it, you can go ahead and color it or put different tape around it. So I did that. And then we have our string. The first thing I'm gonna do is attach the string to the ball. Get some of my washi tape. one end of the string to the ping pong ball. Make sure it's secure. You can even wrap it all around if you want, if you want the ping pong ball different colors. So, and then the next part is to attach the other end of the string to the bottom of the cup. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if we can do it. It's hanging. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have fun. And actually, you can, if you have like different cups at home, different sizes cups, it may help if, um, may make it more challenging as a smaller cup so it's um, not as deep. Let's try it again. Let's see, I'm gonna swing 